Novak Djokovic beat Stefano Tsitsipas in straight sets to win the 2023 Australian Open in a 22nd Grand Slam. Novak Djokovic has now joined Rafael Nadal on 22 Grand Slams in the tennis history books. The Serb was far too strong for Stefano Tsitsipas, battering his Greek opponents 6-3, 7-6, 7-6 to claim the Australian Open trophy. And the 35-year-old can reflect on what is arguably his biggest achievement to date. Djokovic had to put up with a hamstring injury during the Australian Open, with the Serb openly talking about his struggles. But he's been playing at a level nobody else can get near over the past fortnight and, now, he's regained his trophy. A year ago, Djokovic's future in tennis was up in the air. Having been banned from the Australian Open due to his stance over the coronavirus vaccine, it was unclear how he'd be accommodated in the sport. But, 12 months down the line, and the 35-year-old has taken the trophy for a historic 10th time. Djokovic could easily have been impacted by everything he endured last year. His trip to Australia, on that occasion, proved to be a damaging experience. Housed with immigrants from overseas in a rundown coronavirus hotel, the Serb was visibly distressed. Yet he was always open to returning, despite his bad experience, and Djokovic has certainly been a man on a mission over the past two weeks. Take the final against Tsitsipas, for example. The Serb wasted no time in getting started, powering his way to 6-3 in the first set. And though his opponent grew in stature, particularly in the second and third sets, Djokovic took everything that was thrown his way to reign supreme. It was a cathartic match for the 35-year-old, and one that saw him banish the demons of 12 months ago. And when you consider the other issues that have plagued Djokovic in recent times, it makes the victory even more remarkable. His father Serjan Djokovic, so often an ally in his corner, has been in the spotlight down under. Djokovic SNR was seen posing with Russian fans and supporters of Vladimir Putin, at a time where the war in Ukraine continues to take place. So that robbed the newly instated world number one of his biggest ally, while also threatening to derail his chances of glory. However, Djokovic composed himself to shrug off the scandal. It meant losing his father for the rest of the tournament, but he didn't seem to be impacted by that in the final. In fact, it only made him stronger. Then there was the knowledge of what this match meant as well. Not just a chance to return to the rank of number one, but a chance to draw level with Nadal in the Grand Slam record books. Now, the onus will be on him to ensure he moves ahead of the Spaniard. Few would bet against that happening. With the two men level, that only looks set to be temporary. Nadal will potentially win the French Open, as he always seems to do. Nobody has dominated the clay courts of Roland Garros more than him.